what's up guys this is the road from and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire did war let's play as the kingdom of venice and in this episode um we are going to try and well try we're going to push back um the first spanish push from northern italy so let's engage and i suspect because my capital is actually quite safe we may end up slowly cranking the pressure up against our against our enemy and eventually capture the city so that they can't ever do something like this again i fear that the spanish have well the spanish have finally been given um too much time to build up and i think now is the time to time to uh, make them realize that they can't actually do that still it's very nice of them to attack our city they have no artillery so it will be a lovely 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 um, assault and then we can gun the bejesus out of them with our infantry that's what you can do if you're feeling particularly confident is do something like this so when they they attempt to push your infantry here and they get eviscerated by the troops on the walls it just goes very badly for them something like this you have to literally just stay inside for now everybody just take her positions on all of the walls make sure I get those conscripts out of the way there we go so if these guys push to try and engage our infantry on the flank they will get mightily damaged so you guys probably want to end up being probably end up being something like this we've got one unit of conscripts in our general let's get them inside obviously you could have deployed outside the walls and advanced towards them you know that you, you could do that in no trouble at all if only we had howitzers but there we go now the engagements are beginning So these guys, the 40th Regiment, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. is over to the corner because that's where the enemy infantry appears to want to try and just, you know, stay where you are broken and shattered so let's just slowly crank forward Seventh, getting ambushed by my light infantry on the ground. They've already taken a lot of damage. Ready? There we go. That's the end of them. Forty eighth coming back, the forty ninth coming back. Go on, you man. Man your positions and engage the fiftieth. Let's 
to be honest, I could do a lot worse than send my general out to do some mopping up. Which it just doesn't really matter. militia on the wall as well. The militia are not a very good assault unit. Let's pivot them slightly away from the wall so they don't shoot up top. And man the fire step. Push back the 21st. Push back the 43rd. the 43rd. Come on, man. Open fire! Oh, there they're they're going to break for sure. Yep, there they go. are actually making it onto the wall. They're too bad because there are men on the walls. Lots of our... Three units that we've got to engage are going to be less effective. They can charge the 13. Chase after the 23rd. Oh, yeah, these guys against my grenadiers, they're not going to like that one bit. They shoot, cease fire off, or fire at will off. There we go. Oh, 21st getting hit. Let him take damage. Cease fire off. Now it's just the 23rd. Just let them push it up. There we go. Everyone's taking positions on the walls. Let's just get them get them gunned down and pushed back. go so then let's take you guys bring them back inside because technically the enemy can win 
Oh no, okay, cool. I was assuming that because I could get men back inside the city, there's a chance that they could capture the gate while the gate was open and potentially win. Either way, 10 to 1 kill ratio. Very nice indeed. So they've been pushed into Italian states territory. Okay, yeah, I think we need to bolster our garrison there and then drive them west. Oh, the Ottomans are engaging us. Okay, we're going to end up needing to be on the offensive to deal with all this artillery. And we've got a lot of melee troops coming in as a reinforcement, so let's deal with that. Um, once we take Baghdad, next turn I'm going to need to try and butter up Persia and try and make them uh, like us a bit more. I think we're trading with them, but I think if we give them some uh, estate present they might warm up to us quite well. Yeah, we need to get ready to... Well, we are going to need to attack. Because with, with all that artillery, they could do a lot of damage to us. And actually, if we take Baghdad, it might open up some of Syria's cotton trade. Because we are an adjacent territory. So, my guns are going to be up on the high ground. This terrain is going to hamper our movements. So we're going to go around to the right of it. Put another detachment to go to the right of that, and then one detachment to cover the left. Pikes join in. Cavalry join in. General hunker down. Okay, yeah, we need to advance at speed. So my artillery is going to automatically engage their artillery. They probably want to instead focus on the their, their mounted element. It's a, it's a lot of artillery. I, I imagine they're going to go for our pikes. Keep our place close to the line, but not right in front of it. Okay, enemy cavalry charge coming in. Camel charge. New men are going to be formed up in time. Let's give them a volley. Camel morale is quite low. There you go. Okay. Start to engage their infantry. Okay, we've got a good flank on them here. Grenadiers courage to cover the left. Riskers of souls. They, thankfully they decide to turn away. Let's get my general up. Pikemen up. Get my cavalry looping around ready to engage the Riskers of souls. Maybe smash the hillmen? Depends on if they get gunned down or not. Smash the hillmen. Yeah, the risk of souls have been knocked out. Let's see if we can shatter the hillmen. We pull our cavalry back. My flank. Advance, get my artillery to engage the camel gunners. They were engaging the musketeers. Let's maybe get the grenadiers over here as well to engage those Armenian archers. Well, 
been captured. And we're gonna do advancing again. Charging. No, they were. Wavering to the musket fire. Royal Mamelu guards need to watch out for them. Form square. They're firing a shrapnel shot at my plate, then. They're just, they're just not very good units to have at the minute for this sort of combat. Square is broken. Hit the Israeli. Okay, so the front line. You guys need to push up. These guys advance like so. Yeah, try kill the Riskers of Souls. They're a spooky unit. Okay, let's get my line infantry out into the fight. Gunners engage the Mamelukes there, and you engage the Camel Gunners. Can't see where the reinforcements are coming in yet. Yeah, let's get out of this building. They're, they're trying to destroy it. No conscripts, run! Run through the square. Oh, someone else is going for the conscripts. Archers. Grenadiers are holding firm. That's a lot of. That two units of. Well, one unit of Mamelukes, one unit of Mamelukes guards. Unsurprisingly, the conscripts have had enough, but so have their Mamelukes guards. The Grenadiers have fallen in square again. Excellent artillery shot straight into the Mamelukes there. There's the reinforcements. Okay. Push forward. You guys move forward like so. Grenadiers, get out of there. Line of infantry getting to the town. Gunners, focus on the camel gunners. Really, we're never going to last that long. Then these, this unit is a set of gunners over here somewhere. Enemy artillery coming in. There's a unit of Felaeen. So let's maybe make you guys stick around. Okay, 
Okay, you guys, this flank. Advance towards the enemy reinforcements. These units can have to push through the towns. Okay, this infantry. Don't occupy the building because they've got melee infantry coming in. Of souls. Their defense is low, but their, their morale is high if the defense is low. So you have to hit them first. That's the, that's the recommendation, I think. So you guys can board to just break through this engagement and form up. There go the risks of souls. Excellent. You need of camels, plus some artillery. That cavalry's broken and running for it. The Bashi Bazooks are going to oh, well, They are going to run. Push forward. Cavalry sticking around. They just fired into a bunch of their own fellows. Are you going to complete your charge or are you going to stay where you are? You're going to complete your charge. Where you were. So they're going to be engaged by our other infantry. Come on, you men. Engage. Your lives depend on it. Same with you, 108th. Advance the gun line. It's this artillery plus the Mamelukes. Excellent. Let's just speed this up a little bit. You're all going to be reloading. So if they engage the artillery, any misses will end up hitting the Mamelukes to the rear. Oh, there they go. We are the ones that rule Baghdad, I'm afraid. Well, I mean, we will do <laughs> once we actually take the city. Excellent. Ooh, here come the Russians. Interesting. Okay, let's make sure we plug the gaps that need to be plugged. I want to keep my army in Naples where it is. Good job, Italian states. They've helped clear out our ports. I want to make my army in Venice advance towards Milan. I want to keep my army in Naples where it is, because there is still that Spanish stack in near um, Rome. So I want to boost my... <laughs> I want to boost my... Um, uh, no, not interested in alliance. Tex for money, sure. Yay! Excellent. Bit of extra money. 
evil architecture advances. Great. We need to get Verona repaired because they were destroyed in the Spanish Sally. You're going to move out. And then we're going to build get a block of line infantry. We're not going to move out yet until that infantry is recruited. 18, well, we, we did have a lot more than 18,000. I've spent a bunch of it. Um, right. I am happy to maintain the siege because it gives us longer to work on Persia. Let's give them, give them some finest China. Let's not be showy. And they liked that. That's good. Insediamento sotto assedio. I mean, you actually, that, sotto assedio. that's actually a bit bold. That probably isn't going to work. Okay, just for a turn, I'm going to turn off tax from Anatolia. Just to make sure they don't rebel, because I really cannot afford any rebellions at the moment here. Lots of available port upgrades. Okay, so... Luca, well, first of all, I need to make sure all of my armies up at the front are replenishing. Okay, you're all good. Okay, let's pick up a... Back up general. And back up this admiral, this general here. And let's try and get some... I mean, there's lots of really cool units we could get, but... Again, we need a bit of mass. And let's maybe get some... Get some cavalry. Just to boost Luka Komin against all these Russian troops that are coming in. about the trade route being raided. Yeah, I'm happy for that to take a little bit longer. You can attempt to recruit. Yeah, it's going to take a while for your Alliant Infantry to get there. To be honest, I think that this is a recipe for losing this army. You are going to break off the siege. Pronti e in attesa di ordine. And call up reinforcements. Or I could just send some of you. Rather than recruiting all that. I'll keep the African infantry recruiting. Probably does mean I'm going to want a little bit of infantry back here as a bit of a garrison. But that's a lot of um, spending on my military. Let's try and upgrade some farms to try and get a little bit of positive economic pressure. Yeah, just keep sieging. Just keep taking your time. This force will be destroyed in good time. Because if we build a decent army, we can take Yerevan and then take Tbilisi. Although, uh, to be honest, I'd like to take Baghdad and then just get peace with the Ottomans. I don't know if the Ottomans... Ottomans, Ottomans, Ottomans... Yeah, they're allies of Georgia, so Georgia can actually still use their territory to raid. I suppose if we make an extra front line against Russia, it might spread their um, troops around. I'm going to move my light galley out and raid Batumi. Just raid it, just to break it and prevent it from being used to recruit more ships. 944 is probably... Oh, I can put, upgrade a farm here. Yeah, I do want Verona to be replenished to carry on with their... The Sofcotex Graz got naval architecture advances. Let's go for lime juice and sauerkraut just to reduce 
the upkeep costs and we can build a naval hospital which gets us which could get us some quite fast high tier units. Prague needs to be covered until we get defenses. Breslau's already got defenses. It's mostly getting ready to deal with these Russian troops as they come in. That's the main that's the next worry. Konya has gone on with power loom. That's okay. I think. Okay, let's hit M10. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't do this to me, Britain. Okay, they've engaged the Italian Navy. Is that it? Oh, no, there's another. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh. Oh, ooh, okay, okay, so they've landed against the Italians. Okay. Let's keep my keep my army strong. The Spanish army is pushing up towards Venice. I mean, our enemies are just getting a lot stronger. A little bit of another army's come in. It looks like they're just reorganizing. Okay, they're starting to advance. Russia's coming in to try and steal our technology. Italians are engaging the British, and they've been repulsed. I don't necessarily mind if the uh, <laughs> if 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 the Italian states get taken out. It means we can take Rome. I mean, at some point, I'm going to need to engage Iassi and take take them out and just start open a front line against Russia. I really don't want to do, but if they're going to make us. It's another turn under siege. What are you guys going to do? A couple of workshops. Craft workshop and an iron workshop. Very good things to get hold of. 13,000 we're down to. Okay, now I can start taxing you. Let's upgrade church school. Signore, e marcia. They're a long way away. That's too nice, you don't necessarily need them. Oh well, they'll do. And a and a yota letsu. Signore, i vostri ordini. I mean, you, if I march up to you, you're going to force me to attack? Avanti, per no, I thought not. La okay. So you probably. So, well, you won't have the strength to attack us anymore. Let's get some more conscripts to bolster the garrison a little bit. Let's... There we go. Let's try to repair these buildings within Vienna. Upgrade Innsbruck to a craft workshop. Probably do with upgrading one of these ports, I would assume. Lots of things we can upgrade. Hmm. More ports are always good. But I want to attack this force, draw their garrison into the action. Push them all back, take Milan, and potentially force a peace deal with them. Not that Milan's super worth it, worthwhile to hold either. Hmm. 
Hmm. You see what you do, Mr. Bacon. If you take Rome, I will gladly take it off your hands. But it would suck to lose the Italian states, because they are quite a decent ally to have in the region. Hmm. Um, I, mean, I think I'm going to need to upgrade Versa to a coaching in to help deal with the unhappiness. I'm going to need... I, I am feeling economic upgrades are the way to go. But I've not got any in any of the safe areas except for some of these... Oh, a prosperous port. That's not bad. Let's try that. And 1100. Let's engage this force. Oh. Ideal, really. I suppose they didn't really fancy moving up to um, support them. But if I can take Milan, I could either I could potentially force a peace deal, or if not, I can send my army in Naples across the Med and attack Tunis to try to force a peace deal there. Not that I particularly want Tunis, but it will be enough. It will be enough to make them... It, it should be enough to make them back off. So I'm not going to deploy my entire army. Only a handful of militia. Although they have deployed... Broken up, which is a bit annoying. Ah, what the hell. Let's deploy my two grenadiers on the flank. They're going to, even though we're attacking, they are going to have to push because we've got the artillery advantage. Um, we can afford to just keep bombarding them. Let's get another unit out on the flank. Or if nothing else, I want them to combine their strength. Rather than having to work my way around the town on both directions, I can push up with the town on my right. On my left, sorry. more like this. Then my two grenadiers on the left. They're the sort of units I want. Can we make it to our designated jumping off point? We'll be very close. We will make it. They're probably going to stop to try and engage us. Yeah. That's what we want. There we go. They may have got the first shots off against us. We've got so much firepower. They're not going to be able to withstand us. This is my artillery wants to focus on this block here. So they do want a bayonet charge, it looks like. I can have something to say about this. Advance. So we want to focus on the general's bodyguard. See if we can snipe out that Spanish gentleman. Too early. There we go, he's within range. Uh, we're not going to 
gonna get him. Well, as we've determined elsewhere, we don't want to kill them. We want them to be damaged so that when they fall back, if they do end up getting into the garrison, a full strength garrison unit is being replaced by a damaged militia unit. Guys, they feel like all nonchalant. How do you feel about the battle, Sam? That's what I thought. But being a militia favorite thing to do is to say we're running. No we're not. Yes we are. No we're not. Yes we are. They absolutely love it. Oh, there we go. I missed the general breaking. Bane in charge the 24th. Cease fire the guns. What are they doing? These grenadiers are marching in. Get him! He's behind our lines! an unsurprising victory there but it's just one another one of their forces that have been pushed back back into Genoan territory no less Conrado there we go now their reinforcements are coming in okay now we are going to have to play this one defensively because our a lot of our line infantry units are now a bit a bit vulnerable but we should be but we will be fine Then that'll push the garrison back, then we can lay siege to Milan. And like I said, hopefully use it to broker a bit of a peace with Spain. Ooh, bridge battle. Ooh, can I oh, they don't have they don't have artillery. But I do. So I can just sit here and do this. I haven't had one of these in a while. You always leave some at the regular bridge, but the main thing is I am always suspicious about the AI's deployment. The reinforcements are coming in from their side. reinforcements awfully awfully like to come in from our side of the battle sometimes there we go yes even though we attacked, we in theory have to cross the river, um, the enemy, because I've got all, I've got my artillery, um, I can choose to sit back here and just use my guns, and that will, that causes them to uh, advance towards me and do battle. In theory, it actually might not. Judging by their behaviour. Eh. They're not heading towards the towards the crossing either. Ah well. This was a nice plan. Are you 
you guys are firing them off. Everybody, cross the river. And you guys can come over from this way. I'm only speeding this up because right now it's, it's a very non-complex deployment of infantry here. Looks like they're... This infantry today is retreating to try and reconnect with their other forces. Okay, you guys. Plus you guys. That's to be the big that's, that's the conscripts they're forming that big block. Advance up to them. Advance these guys up to the top of the hill. Right now they couldn't actually see anything. Form up. like here, isn't it? Limber up. They're not you, don't want to select you. You men will you men will knock back the third regiment of militia. General over here. Ooh. You guys are all firing well off. No wonder that's that's not gonna go super well for you. If I get my guns up over here, it'll take them ages to get over here, but get over here they will. Nice big block of enemy militia. Just the sort of fellows to be slaughtered by our musketry. Super duper. And you guys can do this. Ah, they were coming back. You can try that again if you like. Age. 
rage, keep my general nearby. Into the back of the militia fight. Swing into the back of the first militia. Excellent, wavering. You men smash the militia. I don't like that one bit. Into the militia in your front. Charge forward. See them off of the battlefield. Chase them off. Okay, you guys need to change your positioning because you're 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 loot taking too many losses to that militia unit. Get on the high ground in whatever form you think fits. Okay, so advance into their faces. These two small units push up. Conscripts, the conscript line, infantry, stand and deliver. Guns still making their way across the board. Ironic, really, with all this melee combat, my pike went nowhere to be seen. The men jump onto the provincial cav. Excellent. You guys form up and just keep engaging the enemy infantry that are entering the field. Everybody form up. coming in but nothing super they to be massively concerned about all these dead militiamen across the field three of these conscripts can fight against the militia it's another unit of militia but just with different clothes on as they're streaming back into the hills. I'm not sure why you follow them. You're in trouble. That's for darn sure. Fall back. Okay, this unit ceasefire. This infantry is going to try and run straight through them. You'll be fired upon from the hundred and fourth. Okay, 
reinforce. They're routing through us, so that gave us a really good opportunity to shatter them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It wasn't a close victory, it was a bit, a bit dirty, but that's fine. Back you go. I'm going to maintain I that siege, actually, and force them to come at me. New chaps replenish. Because, yeah, that, that army... It's a lot of militia, but they're depleted militia. We've got a solid core of infantry, plus a decent garrison, so that's not a problem. Mostly, we want to see what these Russians are going to do. Ideally, to us, even next turn, depending on what this guy does, we may be attacking Yerevan. So the Royal Navy is moving back. That's really good to see, including the invasion force. Super nice. Spain has knocked out Morocco. So they've consolidated their hold on the North African coast. Um, opportunity to intercept. I'm going to auto that because the odds are really in our favour. I can afford uh, some auto resolves. Uh, if you want to come at me, sure. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this combined Ottoman-Georgian force. See you next time, everyone.